Hi there, I'm Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to walk you through these new snowflake brushes I've created. So first I'm going to take this shot of my daughter, and she is in her little winter attire waiting for a snowflake that is not here on screen. So I am going to create this in the magic of Photoshop. First I'm going to add a new layer so that I'm not putting it right onto my original layer and, and having it flatten. This way it allows me to move the snowflakes around. And I'm going to go here to my brushes. I'm going to go into the JD Snowflake brushes. And the first thing I'm going to do is find a little snowflake that I want for her to be about to put on her little tongue. And I think I'm going to go with the snowflake number five here, and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it. Okay? And now I'm going to size it. So I'm going here to the edit and then transform and scale. And I'm going to scale it to the size that I want. And make sure that it's um, scaled equally horizontally and vertically. I'm going to try and make sure that her eyes are looking at it. So here we go. And once I'm satisfied, I'm going to go ahead and click that to accept those changes. And so here is that first snowflake that we've added via the brush. And now I'm going to add another empty layer here. And I'm going to go and select another brush. This one I'm going to use is going to be the JD Boca and Blurred Flakes. They're going to be my flakes in the background. So what I'm going to do is drag this brush across. Now this won't work if you have an old version of Photoshop, but for folks working in uh, Creative Cloud, you can just paint this on in and we'll just mask out any that maybe become too much but this has kind of a, a fun bokeh effect with some other blurred snowflakes. And when you're happy with that, you just stop. And if you want to get rid of any, you can just push this little mask button. And we're going to select a regular general brush and size it appropriately. And I'm just going to go back into this mask and paint with black any of these little flakes that I don't want to appear. So let's say I don't want a couple of these guys over here. Or maybe there's too much in this area or I don't want something over her face. I would just remove them wherever I didn't want to have these snowflakes. Now let's say I wanted to add another snowflake. Well, since in theory no snowflake is the same, I would just go and pick another one of my snowflake brushes. And let's go with snowflake number four. And I will just stamp that down. And again, I can change the opacity and I can resize it to make it smaller. I could do that individually, or I can go down here. There are more brushes. I could perhaps get the JD Snowflakes number three. We'll get a new layer here. And I will add a few stamps. I think I'm going to resize this to make it smaller. But you get the idea. You can start playing around until you're happy with it. There are a number of different brushes, so you can go ahead and customize them. Customize your scene however you would like it to look. Uh, go ahead and mask any areas that you don't want. You can always blur these with Gaussian Blur after the fact. Just keep them on their own separate little layers. Don't flatten it until you're totally done with your image. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and enjoy the brushes. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.